Hey guys, and welcome to another movie review, and this time we're talking about Transformers Rise of the Beasts. And here I will say right now, I never liked any of the Transformers movies, especially any of the Michael Bay ones, like, I never thought they were good, like, the robots look cool I guess, and some of the action was decent, but other than that, I thought this, I don't even remember the story, but I remember it wasn't really particularly interesting, and, like, none of the characters really... Mm, like, mm, connected with me, so yeah, I never liked any of the Transformers movies. And then the Bumblebee came out, and although I thought it was a huge improvement over the Michael Bay movies, I still didn't think it was anything particularly good. And I thought that the fact that the Michael Bay Transformers movies were so bad, people told themselves Bumblebee was better than it actually was. But I never thought it was particularly great movie anyway. The only Transformers movie I'm going to go as far as say was pretty good was Transformers the animated movie from 1986. Yeah, Transformers the movie, animated one from 1986. That's literally the only Transformers movie I'll go as far as to say it was pretty good. But this Transformers Rise of the Beasts, I have to say it was... It's still certainly better than all the Michael Bay movies, but... I say it's somewhere along the lines of the Bumblebee. Like, because it's better than the Michael Bay ones, people tell themselves this movie is better than it actually is. And if I have to choose which one I like of those, I, sli I will slightly go with the Bumblebee. Like, one of the praises that I see this movie is getting is that, that human characters this time are much more likable. I didn't see that. Like, I can, I literally cannot remember even their names now. Yeah, that's how much I care about them. I can't even remember their names. So, when it comes to human characters, this movie is suffering from the exact problem all the, all the Michael Bay movies suffered. Like, the human characters simply aren't interesting. If the movie focused more on robots fighting each other, then I guess it would be a lot more entertaining. But, as soon as the movie focused on the human characters, <laughs> The story stops being interesting, and that's why I guess the Bumblebee was slightly better than the others, because in the Bumblebee at least, I can actually remember the human character, it was the girl that befriended the Bumblebee, and her relation with the Bumblebee was actually pretty interesting, but here, the, but here in Rise of the Beasts, we go back to the same problem the Michael Bay movie suffered, like, I really don't care about any of the human characters, like, they're not interesting to me. Like, yeah, and the worst of all this, it actually takes like 30 minutes at least to get to the action in robots, which makes it even less interesting, because if the human characters were likable and interesting, I guess I wouldn't really mind that 30 minutes setup, but because I don't find any of the human characters interesting, it was just a boring slog. And then later, when the robots finally came up, yeah, I guess their designs were cool and the action was pretty entertaining, but other than that, the movie still isn't very interesting. It's like, it's like the story isn't, int uh, isn't particularly good either. Yeah, so the only good thing I can think of the movie is that the robot designs are pretty cool and the action scenes are decent. And the new villain, actually the old villain from Transformers, Unicron, I thought Unicron was actually very well done, and even then, he's very, very underused. Ultimately, Transformers Rise of the Beasts simply isn't really good. Like, it's better than the Michael Bay Transformers movies, but it's not saying much. Like, like, and even as I said, I can't really think of a single Transformers movie that's great. Bumblebee was decent. This is very mediocre, just slightly better than the Michael Bay movies. And the only Transformers movie that would go as far as say was pretty good was Transformers the movie from... 1986. But other than that, this movie is pretty forgettable and I doubt I'll ever watch it again. It's probably referring to how I feel. I'm not a fan of the Transformers franchise. It's a franchise that simply doesn't really appeal to me. If you want to see some cool robot action, I guess you might enjoy this movie if you can get through the like, first 30 minutes of the movie, which are really a slog. But if you want a good science fiction movie with great characters, 
that I suggest you seek elsewhere, because this is certainly not it. Okay guys, thank you for checking out this video, press the like button, please subscribe to this channel, and I'll talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you later, bye!